All right, that's enough of all that. What's up, guys? It's the game MLL, and just to let you know right out of the gate, um, this is a work in progress. So that means it's not complete. Don't worry if you're not part of this episode. I'm still making teams. Um, a lot of, actually, I don't think any teams have victory poses yet. So this is like early stages of development still. Um, but, you know, it's been high on the demand list, so I want to get started with it. Let's jump right into the tag team division. All right. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing okay. Just uh, just been doing creations for the past two hours. So hopefully we get this thing going the right way. And I'm going to start out with some teams here. You guys don't know who your teammates are. This is kind of cool. So, like I said, <clears throat> there's a lot of people that, that don't have teams yet. So that doesn't mean you're not in the tag team division. But if you don't want to be in the tag team division, let me know in the comments section. Because you don't have to have a tag team partner. You can just be a singles wrestler, which is totally fine. But uh, this is for people that have been asking for teams. So um, not everybody has a team yet. And... You know, most of you guys, I'm not going to let you just, like, cherry pick your partner, but if you give me a couple suggestions, I'll take them into consideration. And other people have been <clears throat> just thrown into random teams. So we're going to start out with one of those random teams. Panda Craft. Panda Craft and... Iron Alex Gaming. So what what do you think? Oh, I haven't done any more downloads, bro. Sorry. Um, what do you guys think their name is going to be? I'm just curious. Just guess in the comment section. And who else do we have here? Remnant Elementor. Okay, so you're going in. And your, your tag team partner is Chris Valerio. All right, just... If you guys want to just play along, try and guess their name before they come out. So we have Iron Alex Gaming and Panda Craft together. And then we have Remnant Elementor and Chris Valeria. So, uh, Chief Tank, you guys are going to be part of the six-man match. I'm going to have the characters that I made last night all have a match against each other later on. So uh, don't worry. If you got made yesterday, you're still going to get a match. This whole episode isn't entirely going to be tag team, but most of it is. All right, and then I'm also going to, in between matches, go through and cut parts out. So, you know, that way, whenever you guys go watch the replay, there's not hundreds of loading screens. And that's all. Let's get started. And I hope that the entrances were on, because I just realized I didn't check that. <laughs> so hopefully it's not a big botch right out of the gate. If it is, it'll, it'll just get chopped off when I repost the video. And Zane, you're going to be in competition. Spoiler alert, your partner is the former Fan XT champion Terminator. So you guys are going to be a team now. So if you want to see that, Make sure you guys stay tuned. Don't forget to drop a like if you guys are enjoying the tech team uh, concept so far. So, 
yeah my voice is not 100 percent yet I'm still a little congested so if you hear me clicking in and out you have to excuse me you guys i'm just i'm battling colds they're almost gone they're progressively getting better it's just going to be a little bit longer i thought it was going to be done but <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, Power Player 007, after the stream ends, go watch the beginning of this video because I talk about people who were not assigned a team. So you're going to want to at least listen to that part of the video. I did I did uh, edit your character, though. I boosted his stats all the way up so that he can keep up with the rest of the roster because everybody is maxed out. Yep. Yep. Every fan XT or Friday Night Freddy's stream will be always rated PG. Just keep that in mind. All right. So here comes the first team. It's Iron Alex. And Panda Craft, they're called the Iron Pandas. I'm just going to kind of be quiet while these guys are coming out. I'm just kind of like taking in this reaction. I haven't watched these all the way through yet, so I'm just excited to see them as you are. <laughs> Royal Fall, um, you, you and Aaron Woody are a team, so you're not going to want to miss your match. That's going to be later on. <laughs> well, you're halfway right. All right, so yeah, that's the Iron Pandas, everybody. And their opponents. The Poke Elementers. <laughs> All right, I hope you I hope you dig it. I hope you dig it. Alright, so you guys are a team. We talked earlier. Alright, that's funny. <laughs> and the match has started. We're starting out with Pandacraft with Remnant Elementor. And <clears throat> I think I gave all the team's finishing moves. So if your finishing move happens, I'm going to say that it's happening. And then you guys can help me name your finishing moves for your team. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think that was the scheduled next match. I have everything booked. I'm not telling you guys everybody. Because I want it to be a surprise. I want you guys to stay tuned and find out who the other teams are going to be. So... You know, Royal, sitting here roasting everybody's not going to make you very many friends here in this chat. I'm just saying, we're going to sit here and, uh, you know, I mean, it's funny. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, if I was you. <laughs> All right. Anyways, Chris Valerio hits the moonsault. So Remnant and Valerio were scheduled to have a match tonight in a singles contest. However things have turned around I decided to book them as a team instead so in comes Iron Alex Gaming
and he's going for the leg. Zeroing in. Hey, what's up, Marionette Gaming? How's it going? Those are the T-Bone. I believe he has Sans moveset. Sans from um, Friday Night Freddy's. He's also obviously from the game Undertale. If you're a gamer, you know a little something something about Undertale. You know exactly who Sans is. And I think that this is their finishing move. Here it is. Boom. So if you guys want to come, help come up with a name for that. Nope. He went to make the save and he hit the wrong person. Alright. There's a reverse elbow from Chris Valerio. The waist lock to... Oh, he went for the peak of Kivrana. He got countered into the all face buster. He's going for blue noise. Oh, he hits him with blue noise. Man, this floor is so creaky. I'm surprised you guys can't hear it. Is the Iron Panda kick. Boom. I don't know. I don't have a name for it, but if if PandaCraft and Iron Alex Games want to have a different name for their finisher, though, that's up to them. Let's go for that Pika Kibrana. Nice, bro. Well, after the tag team, we're going to start doing other matches. Not this tag team. We're going to do, like, probably about four or five tag team matches. This is going <coughs> to... Excuse me real quick. I'm going to try to do a two-hour stream tonight. I, knew, I know FanXT is usually only an hour, but there's a lot of stuff that I want to just kind of get done. So, you know, I want to get as, as many teams as I can an opportunity to have a spotlight, have a little match today, so... going up and there's an axe handle it gets countered it's caught with a short arm clothesline there's the uppercut hey what's up cow gaming and there's the future shark DDT aka the dirty deeds And it looks like they're going for their finisher. I call it the Pika Ball Buster. <laughs> ball Buster. I didn't even mean to say that. <laughs> One, two. Oh, so close. Yeah, I can change height, but I'm not changing weight classes. People were stacking their guys too heavy. And and pretty much that made it so when people tried to do moves, they were getting auto-reversed. Well, I didn't think that was very fair. So then you could just make your guy big and nobody could beat him, so. That's cool that we got to see both of their finishing moves on the first match. Going up top. The N60 Heroes Champion. Turns with the elbow. Tornado arm drag. And he hits the head scissors. Hey, welcome, Iron. So you and you and PandaCraft are a team. Panda Craft is from Xbox One. 
go for the Pokeball Buster. Boom. Hooks the leg. What's the referee doing? Falling asleep at the wheel. Nope, the tallest. I'm going to let you guys be a seven foot because I already have a character that I want to have be the tallest character on the show. So. <laughs> Thanks. There's a reverse DDT. Scoops him up for blue noise. Drops him with blue noise right on his collarbone. Gets tossed into the corner. It's caught by Remnant Elementor. And he counters with a short arm clothesline. If you want to see your entrance to um, Iron Alex, make sure you watch the beginning of the stream. He hits the F5. Oh, he didn't make it in time. Well, them's the breaks. And he hits the T-Bone. Let's take a look at some of these replays. Since Iron just got here, here's your finishing move. I'm going to let you guys come up with the name for that. There was the F5 that was the nail in the coffin. So, Pandacraft, if you're watching this later, talk to your partner and see if you guys want to come up with a name for your move. If not, I'll just make one up for now. So, no, it's the Poke Ball Buster. <laughs> uh, I'm killing, my <coughs> killing myself here. All right. Yeah, he got hit with your tag team finisher like two or three different times. I thought, I honestly thought they were going to pick up the win, and then it got turned around at the end there. So it's a pretty good match, good back and forth. Good game, guys. All right, here comes the next team. Oops. We're going to have Captain Fanta and Ultra Gamer 20. Yeah, okay. So what do you think their name is going to be? Just out of curiosity, leave me a comment. I'm just curious to see what you guys are going to call them. Because uh, maybe if you guys come up with a better one, maybe I'll change their name. All right. So he's going to be in the match. And his partner, Zapdos Gaming. Shout out to Ultra Gamer. What's up, buddy? I know you haven't been on Fan XT for a minute, so here you go, bro. Yeah, I don't have a team yet for Spike Douglas. I'm sorry, bro. I'm just going to be 100% honest with you right now. So uh, just watch the beginning of the video if you missed it. There's people that are going to be paired up later down the road. I'm going to figure out who still needs a partner and who's interested in being in the, in the tag team division before I just assign everybody's partner because I don't think everybody wants to be part of the tag team. So I'm just giving like other people to kind of like speak up and say I want to be part of it before I just like assign everybody a partner. Uh, yeah, bro, can you not drop the F-bomb on the PG show or else you will be banned from the chat? Sorry about that. You know the rules, bro. PG. All 
Okay, so I have no moderator right now. This is one of those rare times where none of my moderators showed up. So, um, let's see. I think Remnant Elementor, I think, do you have access to a computer or how are you watching this right now? Oh wait, we got just we got Zane here. Okay. Never mind. Sorry, bro. Yeah, if anybody types in any profanities, though, please delete them. Okay. It's harder to do it on the phone because, like, if the chat starts sc scrolling too fast, you could accidentally, like, ban the wrong person. So, I've had that problem on my phone, so. Uh, we're not doing, we're not doing the singles matches right away. I have the characters that were made last night booked after the tag team, uh, part of the, sh the stream is over. All right, so here is the team of Ultra Gamer 20 and Captain Fanta. This is Ultra Fanta 20. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you were a moderator before. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. All right. Somebody needs to be deputized. Okay. Something's going on with my computer. Hold up. Okay. Well, I went into hard sleep mode and wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> Ah, oh, I missed the entrance. Son of a gun. And here's the zapped reapers. Alright, so I just went ahead and promoted Remnant to moderator for now. So, yeah, if you could just help me police, like any, you know, any foul language or something, I'd appreciate it. All right, so we're doing Ultra Fanta versus Zap Creepers. Captain Fonta goes after Grim. Into a pancake. Yes, that move is called the belly to back pancake, if you can believe that. That's what they used to call it, at least. They probably call it something else now, but. And there's the counter from Grim. There's the knee drop. There's the second one. He's definitely going in. Um, I've played Injustice. It's a fun game. It's not something I would, like, stream because I'm not super great at it. Like, I do pretty decent. I'd say I win maybe, like, six out of ten matches, you know? There's a stump puller. Chief, I don't have anybody that was like made last night in a team because uh, you guys are having a singles match later. It's going to be like, well, it's going to be like a five or six man match. So There's the big DDT. He hooks the leg. Um, 
um, I think if you click on the comment, you should be able to delete the comment. But if I warn somebody and they still don't get it, or if somebody just joins and they start cussing like right away, then you can ban them then. But yeah, don't ban them unless I give them a warning. Otherwise, if they say once, you know, like, okay, let's talk to them about it. But if they keep on cussing and cussing right out of the gate, just kick them out. It's an Ultra Gamers Corner. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to settle for that. And Captain Font is on Dream Street here. He needs to wake up. Get back in the match. I'm going to talk to FNAF fan and see if they want to you know, be a team. Or if they want to be in singles. Like, not everybody's going to be in the, the tag division. So, like, we'll see who replies and who gets back to us and everything. So I'm not going to book somebody in matches if they aren't going to show up to a stream, but only like once. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's another thing too. If they consistently show up, then I'll put them in like a team or something. It's going to be hard, man. You're going to have like a one in six chance of winning. So there's the font to drop. Oh, it goes for... Is that like a Styles Clash? And Zapdos Gaming kicks it out. Oh, he counters the suplex. Zapdos throws him into his corner now. Oh, I think they're going for the finisher, but he countered it. It's a European uppercut. He goes for that Fonta drop again. Boom. Rolls him over, hooks the leg. He's got him in his own territory. Still a lot left in the tank for Zapdos, though. Looks like we're going to get a tag to Ultra. Possibly. Okay. That's kind of a Scott, Scott Steiner thing to do. <laughs> All right. Here we go. The Ultra Fonta drop. Goes for the pin. One. Two. Oh, and his partner didn't make the save. But he dug down deep enough to kick out still. Now, I'm not doing a stream every single day. So that's cool. Because, like, today's usually the day that I record Friday Night Freddy's. So, I'm going to be not streaming anymore until Friday, so. Setting him up for something. Oh, he ducks the sweet chin music. Avoids the super kick. Hey, what's up, Nathan Games? And he goes for a tornado arm drag. Hooks the leg. One. Two. And Grim makes the save. He just donkey punched him. <laughs> he wasn't even looking. Oh, catches him with the Irish whip super super kick off the ropes. Yeah, but it sounds so cool. <laughs> Nathan Games, do you have do you have a friend on the show that possibly you want to be partners with? Because I'm not like letting everybody pick their partner. But if you show up a lot, like you're gonna get more sway in who's your partner. And you're one of those people that shows up a lot, so. It's a Frankensteiner. He's going for that super kick again. Oh, 
caught him right, right in the face with the super kick. Zapdos Gaming's been absorbing a, absorbing a lot of punishment here. Might be looking for that font to drop again. Yes, yeah, Zapdos needs to make a tag very bad here. And there's a basement drop kick. One, two, three. And Fanta. Ultra Gator pick up the win. Oh, I missed their finisher, you guys. That was it there, the spike pile driver. I think I was in the other room. I was looking for some cold medicine for like five seconds, and then I heard the fans start hyping up, and I was like, what? I didn't think anything of it, though, but that makes sense. So I'm sorry, you guys. I totally didn't call it the finishing move. There was that spike pile driver. So Grim and Zapdos, you have the spike pile driver, and Fanta and Ultra Gamer have the, uh, the New Day finishing move. But for now, it's going to be called the Ultra Fanta Drop. Boom. Wolfie's already got a partner. He's, uh, he made his debut last night with H2O Foxy Gaming. So, those two are... Or a team right now, so anyway, so good good game to Zapdos. Good game to Grim. Here's the first night of tag team matches. I don't know, man. You're going to have to, like, watch and see who, who's already taken. So, all right. So, the next match. The next match is going to be Aaron Woody and Royal Fall. They're going to be taking on the former Fan XT champion and his partner, Zane. Okay, yeah, everything. Oh, no, let's do normal. All right. When I say normal, that's what I play with usually. So, Iron Alex has already been on... He's already a part of a team. <laughs> All right, so. So what do you think the name of their teams are going to be? <laughs> nah, I don't I don't name everybody after teams that are already like invented, you know what I'm saying? Like they all have original names. Like I said, you guys, this is still a work in progress, so the only thing I don't have finished for the team parts is the victory scene, but everybody has a team entrance that's a team already. Everybody has a tag team finishing move. So that's why it took me a little bit longer to get started. But
I don't know. How about how about after tonight we'll pick? I know Cow Gaming still needs a partner. Chief. So <laughs> you just have you have to link your PlayStation 4 account to your YouTube account, that's all. Then when you hit the share button, broadcast is an option. We don't have tag team champions yet. This hasn't been an established division. You guys have to wait and tell, like, we know who all the teams are before we just crown somebody a champion. <laughs> the Royal Woodies. I don't know, bro. You're going to have to read about it. I don't know. Okay, I'm glad somebody else caught that. The Royal Woodies, everybody. <laughs> okay. And here comes Zane and Terminator. Does anybody have a guess? The Zaninators. Yeah, it's my gift to you for roasting everybody, bro. <laughs> now you get to be roasted. <laughs> hey, maybe we'll see about changing that name in the next match, man. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I was like, I was like, the Royal Shield. I was like, I don't like the Royal Shield, but I'm sure we'll, we'll think of something else, dude. I was just kind of trolling you, so. All right, so here's the Zaninators. Well, see, the, the plan wasn't even to put them together. I was trying to put together Buzz and Woody, so it'd be Woody and Buzz, but then you guys were saying you wanted to be a team, so then I had to change the name. Which made it come up complicated, so. All right, here we go, Zaninators. Versus the other guys. <laughs> oh man, Aaron Woody, if you're watching this, bro, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to try to roast you. This is this is kind of a joke on him. So, but no, we'll come up with a better name for you guys. I promise. I, I couldn't help it. I'm so sorry. I couldn't help it. I was like, what if they were called? <laughs> All right. Anyways, I'm done. Let's just move on here. So Aaron Woody catches catches him with the clothesline it 
So Nathan Games is looking for a tag team partner. If you guys were not featured today and you wish to be part of the tag team division, he is open for being a partner. So just get in touch with him in the comment section. And, you know, if he already has a partner by then, like tough. But, you know, for now, you know, he's still looking for a partner. So. Put in the chin lock. They're at like a seven count. They need to get in the ring. Just barely. Tags out to Zane. That ain't no problem, man. Chief, I told you let's decide after your match. Whoa, that was a strange way to save. <laughs> he accidentally interrupted his own team teammate's animation there. And he goes for the gut wrench suplex. So Cow Gaming, little thing you should know about Nathan Games. Is uh his favorite word is potato, so I don't know if you guys want to come up with a name. Oh, there's a power bomb right in the corner. Might give you guys an idea of what you guys want to call yourself, so I'll I'll allow that. Why not? And he goes for a stomp to the gut, he clamps on the camel clutch. Saying he's gonna be able to escape. Tossed around with the arm drag. Scores with the big back shot. And he dumps him on his head with a back body drop. <laughs> the Royal Woodies. Right. All right, there's the gut wrench. Somewhere Aaron Woody's like, I hate you, Gabe. <laughs> I hope he doesn't take it seriously. All right. Oh, there's a big spear. It's about snapped him in half there. Well, fall almost pen Zane. Hooks the leg. You guys, you guys can't put this together. This should be called the couch potatoes <laughs> oh he gets hit in the stomach you guys are almost there <laughs> all right he gets tossed into the corner they're going for their finishing move Holds him up. And there it is. The spiked springboard tombstone. Two. Oh, he just barely kicks out. Aaron Woody's taking a beating. Yeah, he gets it. <laughs> the cow. Potatoes. No, but yeah, if you want to be called Potato Cow Gaming, that's cool too. Oh, catches him with the big boot. Here comes the finishing move. This is known as the Boot of Doom. Oh. Oh, Terminator kicks out. There's the back body drop. Zane goes over the top ropes. <laughs> Terminator looks like he's not afraid.
And there's an arm ringer. And he kicks out. Hooks his arm. And nice, nice suplex there. There's the elbow drop. Oh, he swats the Superman punch. I think they're going for it again. And this time Terminator goes for the springboard. It's a double spike tombstone. That might be it for Royal Fall. Oh, that was close. And he blocks Zane. And Zane counters with the arm drag. And Zane scoops him up. Boom. <laughs> the sleigh bell driver. <laughs> All right, he goes off the ropes. And the five knuckle shuffle. Throws him into his own corner. Once again, he finds himself in trouble. I think this is the third time they've hit the finishing move on this guy. This might be it. <laughs> the leg runs in and Zapdos makes a save there oh, I'm sorry not Zapdos gaming my mistake Aaron Woody makes a save <laughs> oh Michinoku driver hangs his feet into the ropes that, that looked rough Like they're going for their finishing move again. Boom. Oh, he knocks the partner off the apron. He did all the right moves. Right place, right time. Just couldn't get the job done this time. Nice springboard. <laughs> Going for snake eyes. He hits him with steak fries. I'm just kidding. Looks <laughs> like so he's going old school. Oh, big club to the back. And there's the dragon screw. Aaron scoops him up. Oh! Counters the spear. Oh no, this is... <laughs> How many times are they gonna get hit with their finishing move here? Oh, there's that big springboard into the tombstone. It's a double spike. And that was the nail in the coffin that time. What's up, Tonja Nap? How's it going? What's up, Bad Attitude TV? How's it going, guys? So this is my uh, this is my fan show. This is the show where I download fan creations, and I pin them against each other. We just recently started a tag team division. This is called Fan XT. Now, this is kind of like a spinoff of my show called Friday Night Freddy. So, if you guys are new to the channel, haven't seen me before, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, we got a couple more matches booked here. And, yeah, let's just keep this momentum going. There's a few other teams that haven't made their debut yet. This is the first night of tag team. And we're going to also... 
have a six-man match with characters that have never had a match before. And that's going to be coming up in the next hour. So I know, bro. I just picked up my first win like two weeks ago. Or, excuse me. <laughs> I just picked up... <coughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I picked up my first win yesterday after losing for like two weeks straight. It's like, jeez, I'm not going to finally pick up a win. That's like the host can't even pick up a win. If you guys are liking the stream so far, don't forget to drop a like. And I'm going to be editing out some of the in-between stuff when this gets post it as like a replay because so I don't want you guys to have to sit through all the load screens so a little bit raspy still still getting over this cold all right oh no I can't I can't be biased in place so who else hasn't had a match Okay, we're getting into the nitty gritty here. Lavarnius Tucker and Stanley Forbes, I combined them as a team. It's hard to think of a name for that team. I was like, God, I don't know. And they're going to be taking on Dangerous by Design. It's going to be Angel teaming up with Lone Wolf and that's how it's going to be <laughs> alright bro well thanks for at least checking out your match at least you got to see it live so thanks for coming don't forget to drop a like if you haven't do it for Royal Woody's <laughs> Oh, man. So he teamed up with Aaron Woody. His little joke we had there for a minute. Uh, so that's what he, that's what we named his team. <laughs> All right. No, buddy, I'm not doing the six man match until towards the end. So. I still have a, like about three or four more teams that haven't had a match yet. And then we'll think about doing the, the six man match with the people that were made last night on my fan creation live stream. So if you guys don't have the ability to submit me a character, um, I do a show sometimes on Saturday night. Um, when I say Saturday day, I mean like West coast Pacific time. So, um, if you guys want to check that out, I actually create people in the chat. So if you don't have access to an Xbox one or a PlayStation four, you can still be part of the show. You know, the in-between stuff isn't too bad. I don't know. I might leave in some of some of the in-between stuff. At least the talking parts. This is the only thing I hate about trying to live stream a wrestling game is the loading screens. Nobody wants to sit here looking at loading screens all day. <laughs> but damn it, we're going to do it. Because this show kicks ass. Yeah, I guess so. The Standing Tuckers. See what I mean, man? I didn't know what to call these guys. You can't just call them the Lucha Dragons. 
That's a WWE name. You want to get sued? <laughs> Alright, these guys didn't know that they were going to be a team, so this is kind of like a surprise. They're both Sankara fans, both Lucha Dragon fans, so I think that they'll both appreciate this. Alright, and here comes Dangerous by Design. Here's the Fan XT champion, his accomplice, Lone Wolf 1982 Gaming, dangerous by design. Okay, sorry for the delay there, guys. I had to step away for a second. Just had to help help my daughter out there. She just woke up from her nap, so. Yeah, there's going to be tag team champions in Fan XT. Like I said, this isn't an established division. It's still being built. So I'm not going to just, like, declare people champions right out of the gate because that would be unfair. I want to wait until people that want to be in a team have a teammate before we decide how we're going to do that. Last time we did a Fan XT tournament, we did Xbox One versus PlayStation 4. So I don't think that's going to be the case this time because there's PlayStation people tagged up with Xbox people. There's non-console people tagged up with PlayStation people. So, I mean, you know, it's not going to be so restricted. So that'll open the gates to a lot more opportunities. That's okay, man. It happens. At least you're able to watch. Thanks for being on the show, by the way. And Angel reverses. Catches him with the short arm clothesline. Oh, we got we got dueling finishers going on at the same time here. There's the torture rack power bomb. There's the cocky choke. Neither of them going for the cover. Surprised, really. Oh, they both go after Tucker. And will Lone Wolf make the save? Pulls him off of Angel, a.k.a. PPF Gamer, who also does live streams of WWE 2K17. By the way. Oh, there's a Tilt-A-Whirl Slam. Runs in to save Lone Wolf. It's caught with a Northern Light Suplex. 
The Tucker Dragons. That might be a cooler name. I'll see if they're interested in being called that. All right, bro. There's a reverse DDT. And it looks like the tide of the match has turned. Oh, rolls through with the super kick. Goes up for the gorilla press. It's countered. Planted with a German suplex. Fantasy champion in trouble here. Lone Wolf gets picked up. Goes for the Falcon Arrow. Gets countered in mid move by Lone Wolf. And he's able to capitalize. There's the half Nelson suplex. Oh, he went for his finishing move and got stopped right in his tracks. Rolls through with the schoolboy into the power bomb. There's a signature move. You know, I think I accidentally picked Extreme Rules. That was not on purpose, by the way. Just want to say that right now. But hey, at least we're doing a different different match style, so it's not the same every single time. Oh, it goes for the springboard frog splash. Tag champs, or, or excuse me, the uh, fantasy champion and Lone Wolf are in trouble. Eats the buckle bomb. There's a second power bomb. And it seems like the AIs are having a hard time making up their mind who they're gonna who they're gonna go for after they both hit the finishing. It's kind of kind of a strange occurrence. Oh, the Salido del Sol. Yes, it is. Hey, what's up, Diamondizer? Um, this is probably gonna be close to a two-hour live stream. It's going to be a little bit longer than the normal Fan XT episodes. So we'll see if we can get all the teams a match. And then we'll do some multiplayer matches. We'll do uh, all the people that got created the other day. Um, we'll do a match for them. And maybe we'll throw in somebody who hasn't had a match yet. Dangerous by design has turned this match around. Oh, there's that Tilt the World Slam again. Van NXT champion taking over here. Stanley Forbes blocks the torture rack bomb. There's Northern Lights. And Lone Wolf kicks out. There's a crucifix pin. Is that gonna be enough to keep down the champion? No, I haven't thrown that team together yet, man. All these guys have a tag team entrance. They all have tag team finishers, so. Angel just got laid out. It's not looking good for Lone Wolf. It's Irish whipped into a fisherman's suplex. Oh, small package DDT. Oh, drops the knee, but he accidentally careens himself into the ladder. Could have broke his leg. Going psycho sit on us here, as they say. There's an arm drag. Oh, DDT right on the ladder. Rough. There's that super kick again. Angel gets launched into the lone wolf. Oh, there's a um, modified version of the face buster. Right, that's kind of what I'm thinking, you know. Be no tag team finisher for the other random team. Oh man, he's just hoisting him up there. I thought he countered for a minute. 
to suplex. He's clamped on the submission. This is one of his finishing moves. The champ needs to go help his partner. Oh, that was close. Oh, dirty rake to the eyes. Uh oh. That could be it. One, two. Oh, just barely. This is a good match. <laughs> the Royal Woodies, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was close. Uh, what? <laughs> um, and apparently Lone Wolf has gone AWOL here. <laughs> um, well, okay then. So let me explain what happened so you guys know what's, what's going on here. Um, he was doing an animation where he was supposed to bounce off the ropes, come back with a Hearn Kenrana driver, and instead, the collision detection was absent, and he passed through the ropes, which is a major problem right now, as you can see. Um... We aren't able to watch the rest of the match. I'm willing to sit here for about... Oh, another minute. And see if uh, they're able to pull out the win. But, <laughs> I mean, really, we're not going to be able to watch it. So that might be kind of stupid. So let's just go here. We're going to quit this match. And they will have a rematch next time. That was definitely botch of the night there. That was hilarious. Okay, so let's go to a normal match. At least we got to see the teams, right? I screwed up by picking the wrong match type anyway. So let's go. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not a, that's not a good sign. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have Hannibal Snyder from Magnum Optimus Gaming. He's going to be teaming with The Killer 123. All right. Let me see who else do we have. Who else is already a team that I made? Let me let me think here. Who hasn't been on that I already put together as a unit. You know, I'm starting to think there's only like one more team. Well, I'll be damned. I think there's only one more team. There is. All right, and here's my here's my new tag team attire. And I picked the wrong arena. Son of a gun. <laughs> well, here's here's the problem. What team are you going to fight? There's no more teams. So. <laughs> right. Well, I guess we're doing this at Battleground. <laughs> hey. When I get sick, I kind of sound like Solid Snake. Hmm. Metal Gear. 
Meryl. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> See, this guy over here got it at least. Okay. Yeah, I was I was a little shocked how that last match ended. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting that. That would be funny. I would watch that. So what do you guys think the name is going to be for the killer and Hannibal Snyder? Mm, this is the last tag team match. This is not the end of the stream. Magnum Killers. If you guys don't know Hannibal Schneider, you guys need to check out Magnum Optimus Game, or excuse me, Magnum Optimus Entertainment. I do that every time. He's probably, damn it, game. <laughs> Magnum Optimus Entertainment. You know, there's so many people that have gaming, like at the end of their name, you know, so it just kind of throws me off a little bit, so. But yeah, that's his YouTube channel. Magnum Optimus Entertainment. So He does more rated rated mature streams, so if you guys are into that. All right. Looks like they're hyped. I've already answered that question. This is the last tag team match. It's not the last match of the stream. <laughs> well, I think I only did it the first the first two streams that you showed up to, and then I realized I was reading it wrong. And in my defense, you try playing against live opponents and getting everybody's name right in the chat. It's not always easy. <laughs> okay, so here is the team that's going to be cashing in money in the bank, possibly on the N60 Sean channel, if you will. Um, on his show, we want a piece of Mr. Mr. and Timmy Terror. So if they are the, the current champions, we plan on cashing that in on them. So we uh, announced it in the comment section of one of the last N60 Sean videos. So there you go. I'm excited. Thanks, man. So this is completely computer sim, so this could go either way, really.
<laughs> you know when when PPF Gamer goes back and he watches this match because he his character is Angel. He's the current Fan XC champion. When PPF Gamer, aka Max, aka Angel, he's got three different names. If you believe that? Um, when he goes back and watches that that match with him and Lone Wolf, he's gonna crack up. He's gonna be like, "What the hell?" <laughs> Oh, Skellies takes him over the top ropes. It's on our side of the tracks. Snowman's land for Hannibal Schneider. Goes for the four count. Mm, I don't rank my fans. I think that that promotes biased favoritism. So. I like the fans who show up. That's who I like. I like the fans who comment and who drop the thumbs up. So that's that's my answer. Oh, Skelly's counters with the cross body. Oh. I thought he was going for a finishing move, but it looks like he has other plans here. Hopefully my guy doesn't screw it up by trying to hit Hannibal Schneider. Oh, dang. Tornado Skelly T. The Super Skelly's DDT, if you will. <laughs> oh. Big clothesline from Schneider. Should be more focused on his... On his, uh... Other opponent. Who's the legal man. Goes after that kneecap. I see what you're trying to do there. I'm not going to answer that. Hannibal Schneider has him up. Oh! Hits him with the tiebreaker. I'm not sure what he calls that. I call it effective. And Skelly's kicks out. Dang, that's a big reverse DDT. For the first time, Killer gets tagged in. Fresh man coming into the ring. Goes for the cover. His partner interrupts the pin. A little bit of a miscommunication there. And Skelly's needs to make a tag in a bad way. Yep, if you guys have it, make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Help share me with your friends. Help my channel get a little bit more discovered. That's all it does. So, you know, helps helps raise awareness. So if you guys like this channel, you want other people to find out about it, make sure you drop that like. Oh, there's a curb stomp. Here comes the game MLL. Let's hit with the job breaker. Was up for the back body drop. Counters with the backflip into the head scissors. And it's launched into the turnbuckle. Boom, hits snake eyes right on the killer one, two, three. The game MLL. This pompous attitude. It's hitting the gut. That was the strangest counter I have ever seen. What the heck? <laughs> okay, and it got blocked. It's all that for nothing. <laughs> what is going on with the countering system? Are you guys seeing that? Is that like a glitch? Oh, he gets hit with the loaded spring shot right into the top ropes. Just about broke him in half. It's 
It's been glitch of mania today. Oh, scores with the DDT. And the whole tide of the match has been turned around since the game has been tagged in. Throws him into the corner. And we've seen this earlier. It's tagged back in. Big stomps to the chest. And a big basement drop kick from Skelly's. Hey, what's up, bro? Looks like one, two. You missed almost the whole tag team episode. And he goes for the submission. Scoops him up for the power bomb. Boom. Oh, the RKO to Skelly's. The game makes a save. And he gets countered. Right into a gut buster. Handle Schneider needs to get out of the ring. Hits the forearm. There's the inverted atomic drop. And the body slam. Shawn Michaels style. All right. Tags him in. There's our finishing move. Boom. And there's the one, two, three. We don't have an official name, but I'm kind of leaning towards the jump scare cutter. It's supposed to be kind of like a combination of both of our moves. Because I've, if you guys have seen me hit the game over, it sets them up kind of like a power bomb, And then Skelly's has that twisting neck breaker. But um, the character positioning got reversed because it was the computers. But still, there's our tag team move. I think we're going to go with the jump scare cutter. Yeah, we're only going to do a few more matches, bro, so... Oh, we got Skelly's here, too, so he's he's also a moderator. Yeah, I think we're going to we're gonna do uh, the debut match of the five people that were created in last night's stream. So... Okay. Hold on a second. <laughs> yes. It's a potato. Of course. All right, so FNAF fan. Well, if you want to do gaming with me when I do versus fans, you should go PS4, bro. Spike Douglas hasn't had a match, I don't think. Oh, wait, I think he has actually, but that's okay. He's only had one match. And I only made five characters last night, so. Let's 
see who else was created last night, guys. Mike. Wait. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's okay. He was only used once, so. Okay, but here's the thing. Wait, wait a second. We already used... Hold up. I think I'm just going to make this a Fatal 4-Way. Because we've already used this character. I don't like doing repeat characters. And that way, people that have never had a match can have their first match together. So I'm going to raise the stakes and make this an Extreme Rules match. Anything goes. Make sure I pick the right arena. Oh, that's right. And FNAF fan. And Cow Gaming. Here's the thing. I don't think... I don't think I did the entrances all yet. And I apologize for that. I was trying to get the tag team division set up. Hope you guys understand. So if you guys don't have an entrance, don't worry. It will get corrected in the near future. And then Mike. I'm just going to call it Mike. I think it's supposed to be Mike. Yeah, dude, there's a funny glitch in the uh, Lone Wolf and um, Angel versus the other team match. I, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm a little bit tired. It's almost 2 in the morning here. But no, if you missed the glitch, go back and watch that part of the match. At least it was hilarious. We had to stop the match because of the glitch. I'm just going to say that much. Yeah, probably. There might be a couple, you know, new teams by then, so we'll see if there's time. I'm leaning towards yes. So what do you guys think of the tag team division so far? If you guys are enjoying it, make sure you guys drop a like. Colorado Springs, that's the home of uh, Bobby Lashley. Yeah, he doesn't have an entrance yet. My mistake. Like I said, I was trying to get the tag team division all set up, so like I said, it will get corrected, though. Okay. So just because it's a generic entrance, I'm just going to skip this part. But we'll let the name bar at least pop up so you guys know who the character is. Like I said, they, they will get entrances in the very, very near, near future.
<laughs> well, it was either that or no tag division, and I'm pretty sure you guys want a tag division tonight, so. Okay, so we saw everybody's name. We know who everybody is. Let's get this show on the road. All right, the bell has sounded. So who do you guys think is going to win? Leave me a comment. If you guys want to take a take an educated guess or non educated guess, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> so Chief taking on Mike. Then we have FNAF fan on the right hand side taking on. Oh, sorry, taking on Cow Gaming. If you guys are new to the show, this is the show where I take fan creations and um, I download them from the offline server. And it's a, it's a way for you guys to showcase your creations on my show. Hey man, don't have a cow. <laughs> Don't be calling me out now. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. You know what, Skillies? You make you make 30 fans and then tell me you, you remember what everybody's name is the first time. It's not easy. That's why I got good fans like you guys to help me. All right, there's the double arm DDT, the Dirty Deeds. It's been playing it on Mike. There's a suplex. Cow gets pinned. Two. And there's a big right cross. That's a misprint, but I know it, I know what you meant to say. <laughs> Oh, he's getting the heavy artillery here. So FNAF fan is composed of random FNAF creation parts. He's got parts of Shadow Bonnie. He's got Ballora's moveset, Yendo's head, and Ennard's hands. And the match was almost over. Oh, that was close. Skelly boys. No, I put the game ML skill. Oh man, you should see some of the names that we came up with for the teams though. They were pretty funny. Well, okay, there was one that was hilarious, I should say, but <laughs> we're just going to leave it at that. Cow Gaming's hooked for the double underhook. Oh, planted with dirty deeds. This might be it for Cow Gaming. Now nah, he can go back and watch it. I'm not doing creations right now. Creation stream is for Saturday and Sunday night. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, there's the Russian Lake Sweep. Cal Gaming turning it around. Oh, spoke too soon. Got hooked into the Northern Lights. And Danger Tank breaks it up. Jeez. I might call it after this just because my voice is getting more terrible as we go. And he blocks the discus forearm. Calgamian sneaks in the back. Oh, dumps him right on the hammer. Oh, there's a lift and cutter. We have a standoff here. Oh, single arm DDT into the turnbuckles. And Tank hooks the leg. And FNAF, <laughs> FNAF fans is <laughs> zeroing in on Cal Gaming. It's mutilating him like he's meat. Will he be able to recover? Oh, he just tossed him just about into the fans. Now he's got some wood. Wait, there's the end of days. There's the end of days. Is that going to be enough? Oh, he didn't go for the cover. Grabs the waist. Oh, stunning DDT. That might be it. Okay, they said no, apparently. <laughs> apparently, that's not enough. There's a reverse DDT. He's throwing DDTs left and right from Cal. I think that's his finishing move. Until he gets a move set. <laughs> All right. He might win this. He turns around and pins Mike. I think this could be over. Oh, big power bomb. <laughs> Where's the hammer going? That's what I want to know. We've got the Mike and Cow in the ring here. Counters. It's a big Russian leg sweep. Oh, he counters the power bomb. Big spine buster. And there you see on the bottom right there, FNAF fan is recovering. Oh, he hits him in the kidneys with a hammer. Ditches the evidence. And FNAF fan trying to take over. There's Dolores finishing move. It's the Crumbling Dreams. He does have Dolores move set. And he gets busted open with the DDT. That's anybody's match right now. Oh, I missed the Heaven Go comment. Now I gotta pull my phone out. Yeah, there's a two count. Oh, he just barely kicks out.
Oh, the okay. You just said the Heaven to Go brand sledgehammer. Okay, I saw Heaven to Go, and I was like, wait, what did that say? Cow Gaming has him up for his finisher. Boom. It's a modified attitude adjustment. This could be it. Cow Gaming could pick up his first win. Whoa, just barely. Yeah, no, you don't want Heaven to go to host. <laughs> There's the end of days. Set up for the F5. Oh wait, excuse me, that's not that's not correct. Got the wrong finishing move. These finishers are dirty deeds. Snap suplex. It's a thunderous DDT. That might be it. There's a judo throw. <laughs> Dirty dreams. <laughs> that would be having the coast version. Cow's taking control of the ring again. She's going for that power bomb. Scoops him up. It's a big jackknife power bomb. Snap DDT. I don't think FNAF fans is going to let him pick up the win, though. Cow Gaming going for another finisher. Oh, gets countered. And everybody has left Mike in the ring all by himself. big arm drag oh there's a head scissors Mike clamps on the bone crusher clamps on the bone crusher is this going to be enough FNAF fan counters escapes the bone crusher I think we would see him to go on Fan XT before we would see him on Friday Night Freddy's. I'm just going to say that right now. Be careful what you wish for. You don't want none. <laughs> Cow Gaming, I think he's got it here. He hooks a leg. No, he counters. No, I thought he reversed that. Okay, my mistake. Gotta be wrong once in a while, I guess. Blocks the finishing move. The dangerous DDT onto the apron. That's just disturbing. <laughs> I 
Oh, there's a big backbreaker. FNAF fan trying to steal it here. And there's another finisher from Cow. Is Cow Gaming going to seize the opportunity? Goes for the pin. Oh, I think he got broke up by Nightmare. Excuse me, that's not Nightmare. That's FNAF fan, sorry. The body's throwing me off here. <laughs> and FNAF fan scoops him up. Big backdrop, backdrop suplex. There's the Blore backslide. Oh, this could be it. I think this is it. Oh, just barely. Two count. <laughs> Who's his mom, Yendo? starts clubbing his spine. That's rough. <laughs> oh! Scores with the DDT on the cow. Oh, he's caught into a power slam. Oh, there's a lifting cutter. I think that's his alternate finishing move. Nope. I don't know why he wants him out on the on the outside of the ring. We're going for the pin. Going for that bone crusher sleeper. And Chief interrupts. It's caught with the choke slam. Oh, big choke slam. FNAF fan capitalizes. Who's gonna win this mayhem here? a lifting cutter to FNAF fan. That could be it. If he goes to the pin, that might be it. Nope, of course not. <laughs> it's a computer thinking here. <laughs> he just cow punched him right in the back of the head. Mike comes back in the ring here. Oh, the McGill cutter. Okay, why is it that every time the computer has the advantage, they throw them out of the ring? This is getting a bit obnoxious here. I guess not. I guess fight forever is in their vocabulary. <laughs> oh, this might change the tide of the match. Nope, of course not. <laughs> it just gets discarded out of the ring right as soon as I say that. Oh, he got dumped on his head.
trading fireman's carries. Oh, he hit the spinning heel kick on both of them, but it wasn't enough. He's going all the way up to the top rope. It's a big back body drop. It's a reverse DDT. Yeah, pretty much. Is he going to submit here? Counters into a pin. And he interrupts the finishing move. Scores with the beauty shot. So snap suplex could be it. <laughs> he takes out the ref. Of all people. Oh my god. It's like the fourth DDT on the apron. They just won't let each other do moves. There's the DDT. Oh, why didn't he go for the pin? <laughs> How did he hit him with the kendo stick? He just slid in the ring. It didn't make sense. Uh-oh. Dual finishing moves going here. Let me guess. The DDT on the apron. <laughs> the computer keeps doing the same thing. What are they doing? Playing tag? <laughs> oh. Oh, there's a big gut buster. It's like he's going for cr crumbling dreams. And there's a crumbling dreams. Why didn't he go for the pin? I know, right, bro? I'm ready for it to end. Nobody's trying to win. It's so weird. They're all hell-bent on going outside the ring and dumping each other on the apron. It's like, what the hell's going on? Oh, my God. Maybe I spoke too soon. There's the DDT. Why did he pick him up? That's his finishing move. There's no reason for that. <laughs> Just end the damn match. He 
He had the ring all to himself. And now he's in there, though, to make the save, so that's not going to work. Oh, my God. And then there was one. <laughs> All right, Chief Tank. I guess you hold up to your name by outlasting the other competitors. Well, that was a lot longer than I expected it. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. So, like everybody can say, yeah, it's over. Um, but anyways, thanks for checking out the live stream. If you guys are not part of the tag team division and you want to be, make sure you guys leave me a comment. Let me know who you're interested in being partners with. And we'll see about arranging something. If not, I'm going to select a partner for you for another person that wants to be part of the tag team division. And <clears throat> sorry, my voice is getting pretty scratchy here. I better get going. So I'm the game MLL signing out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, I lied. I'll see you guys, if not like Wednesday night, maybe Thursday night. For sure on Friday night. The main event of Friday Night Freddy's is going to be a triple threat. Between Night Marionette, excuse me, Night Marion, Marionette, and Monster Vinny. So you guys aren't going to want to miss that too. All right, guys. Have a good night.